why did you left IWA after so many years with them? And did ever did Victor Quinones ever try to hold you back in the office for you know so you avoid living? What did Quinones try to do? What? Uh, oh, so did Quinones try to hold you back once you decided to left IWA? No, again, uh, IWA was money because I had an offer from uh, uh, TNA because I would bring Jeff Jarrett there and he'd walk out in those big stadiums and he'd look up there and he'd see 16,000 people. Wait a minute. How, they all bought a ticket to see this. What the hell are you doing? And I said, well, I don't know. I'm just doing that rest and stuff. I guess I don't know what to tell you. And I really couldn't describe it. To you. I had it in my head, but to describe it, I really it would take too long. So I went in there one day and I said, hey, listen, guys, I want to tell you, I got another offer and this is what they've offered. And if you guys can match that, you know, I won't leave. And he just sat there and looked at me. I said, okay, I got my answer then. I got up. I've gone two weeks. And then where the ratings were up here, it didn't show for about a month. And then it dropped a little bit and drop a little bit, drop a little bit. And, And the ratings were still decent, but still they were dropping because of the of the of the hangover from the other stuff I had done. You know, to draw a 14 rating, a 15 rating, one time a 18, I drew a, I think, and I set the record in W for me. I set the record in WWC with an 18-1 one time. And then the closest I came to it was like a 17-7 with IWA. And uh, and like I'm saying, that's prime time numbers on a morning show and an afternoon show. So, and and I've been in people in the states and ask me, "How do you do that? You don't even speak Spanish." I said, "Language is highly overrated." I said, "You get you <laughs> you get your good uh, you know uh, translator and that knows how to what you want, so he describes it and you can do it." So, but it was why I left the IWA was basically for money. Plus I was, I'd been away for almost two and a half years, three years. So I was kind of ready to go home anyway, but all he had to do was say, yeah, we give you the money. You know how much money we were talking? How much? 500 a week. That's what we were talking. So that's, and he was dead. That's $2,000 a month. It's nothing. It's nothing. That's what I'm saying. I mean, when you go on 16,000 people, At those shows, hell, the one of those shows that have made up all the, the 500 for a, for a year. But And I know that it, it's, it's dollars and cents, but you pay who you got to pay. Otherwise, you know, you, you fall off the map. And when I left, it, it started dropping, which I knew it would, but it wouldn't drop right away because the angles were so well-defined. So all you had to do was follow what had been done. But not only do you have to follow what has been done, but you got to branch off those angles too. And I don't, I don't know what they did. So, but I left Moody in charge and Moody, he did, he, he did a good job. So, and so that's why I went. Does that answer to your question?